This is Jason Brandt reporting from I4 Pharma 2010. I'm here with Rick Stoner. Hey, Rick, how you doing? Good, how are you? Good. good, good. Uh, can you tell me a little bit about uh, what you hope to get out of this event? Yes, um, I'm, a, I'm actually with Beta Rudder, which is um, Pfizer Animal Health's ad agency on the animal health division uh, within cattle marketing. So um, for us, it's been a interesting challenge in terms of you know, taking what we can get, taking the consumer out of the equation and kind of seeing what best practices are on the, on the human side of things and then making that relevant and relating it to, to our world. Because it's, it's a bit different from, from B to C, um, human pharma marketing. Of course. And uh, what types of best practices uh, can you share with our audience? Um, well, actually, in, in early 2010 and, and launching in mid-July, uh, Pfizer Animal Health's livestock division launched a social media presence on, on Facebook and Twitter. And so the goal in, in coming to this show is kind of seeing, you know, what within pharma and also within other industries, um, what are some best practices that industries that maybe we're doing that um, we, we haven't necessarily launched yet that um, we'd like to do but necessarily can't because of legal regulatory parameters and things that we haven't even thought of yet. So um, we thought it was pretty interesting yesterday, um, the gentleman from Ogilvy's presentation on industries that are outside of pharmaceuticals. He talked about examples from the automotive, the financial industry. Uh, those things are really of interest to us, not only as, as an agency to our pharmaceutical, pharmaceutical clients like, like Pfizer Animal Health, but really any of our clients within a regulated industry. It's, it's taking best practices in B2C, scaling it down a bit, and saying, how can we make this work in our world? Interesting. And how big is social right now for you? Uh, for Verizon Animal Health, it's, it's, I, I wouldn't say it's big. It's certainly a growing channel. Um, you know, I think we started with the kind of approach of, of starting small and crawling before we walk, walk before we run, and really focusing on the quality of our content. So in terms of quantity, in terms of money spent, I wouldn't say it's huge for us, but it was very important for our client to get started in the space. Um, it was certainly addressed that it was something, a, a space where we wanted to be. We saw a growing presence amongst our target audiences, so beef producers, dairy producers, veterinarians, uh, trade media journalists, various associations our client is aligned with, and we really wanted to, to be where those audiences were. So it was very important for us to, to get a start this year and continue to grow that. Thanks, Rick, for your time. Thank you. Okay, this is Jason Brand signing off.